What's up, y'all? It's Roz, Ice, and Cass here in Cleveland for the Final Four, and we're getting ready to head into the national championship game. It is here. Iowa and South Carolina will face off, and the, the storylines are something out of a movie. South Carolina has the chance to complete an undefeated season on their way to a championship, and Iowa and Caitlin Clark, she has the opportunity to cap off a storybook career with a title. But for these two teams, it is personal. They saw each other last season in the Final Four. Iowa knocks out South Carolina. Caitlin Clark has 41 points. And since then, South Carolina has been calling this their revenge season. So how do they defend Caitlin Clark? Yeah, I think you have to do exactly what UConn did, right? They put multiple players on her. They made sure that she was frustrated. Nika Mule did a terrific job of being a pest against her. And then Paige Beckers also switched on her. So you've got to play her with multiple defenders and then not allow her to get to her signature spots. Force Caitlin to go right because we know that she loves going left. We know she loves a step back and force her to score in the paint. Uh, you bringing up Caitlin getting to her spots reminds me of the conversation I had one on one with Dawn Staley in advance of the game for Westwood One Sports. I'm reporting for them. And Dawn said that what stands out to her about Caitlin is how when she's using a screen, she has no fat on her game. It's super simple. And she's going to make the defense make a choice. Yeah. You have to make a decision. So, Cass, coming into this game, South Carolina is the favorites. How does Iowa? create an X factor in this matchup. Yeah, I think look at their three seniors, right? This is going to be Clark's last game, but it's also Gabby Marshall's. It's Kate Martin's last game. They've played 139 games together, Martin and Clark. When I spoke with Kate Martin last night, she said she's felt peace this entire tournament. And then when I asked assistant Jan Jensen about it, she immediately smiled. Kate wants to be a coach one day. They talked about getting to this final day. I think those three seniors are going to be huge. Mm. All right, there's strengths on both sides of this matchup. Ice, what is the advantage that Iowa and South Carolina have individually? Yeah, starting with the Gamecocks, they're undefeated. Any team that has tried to beat them, they have failed this season. They have tremendous depth. They have eight, nine, and ten players, sometimes 11 off the bench. They can keep up with the pace of Iowa, but then most importantly, the glass. South Carolina, they need to dominate the glass in order to dominate the game, and they've been doing a tremendous job of that during the tournament. On the other side for Iowa, it's Caitlin Clark, right? It's the moment. It's the moment. We can arguably see the best college basketball player, clearly named the best college basketball player ever, if she wins a national championship. It's the fan base. It's the moment. It is history on the line. That's what they have behind them. I have the moment as well for you. Mm. I'm going to make you pick. Who you got in this matchup? Who's winning the chip? I'm going with the moment and the storybook. The writer has the storybook ending with Caitlin Clark and Iowa winning. <laughs> like a writer. <laughs> How about you? And Dawn, we trust. You are in Dawn, we trust. It's not going to change. You've been, loyal. You've been, yeah, you've been you've saying been that from I the trust. start of the tournament. <laughs> well, I know all of America will be grabbing its popcorn because Iowa is back to the national championship game, but they're still trying to get their first ever championship in school history. And on the other side for South Carolina, they're trying to become just the 10th team ever to be an undefeated champion. The last time that's happened was UConn back in 2015-16.